Today I want to talk a little bit about putting and how to improve your putting. There's actually three things that can help you quite a bit. They're pretty simple. First one is your putting practice. Now in the wintertime I've got this set up. In the wintertime I'll sit out there and practice my putting. Three putts, four put, 10 foot, 15, 20 foot putts all day long. It really helps. In the summer I will go up to the putting green at the local course a few times a week and I'll practice my putting there. There's one problem with just going up and putting like that. That's this. A golf hole, they're four and a quarter inches in diameter. That's this, if you're looking straight down at the hole. However, this actually sits flat on the ground, just like this. And as you back up from looking straight down at the hole, what happens? This gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until you get about 15, 20 feet away, you can't see the hole anymore. All you can see is a little slit in the ground. Now that screws you up mentally, because you look at that and you're trying to put to this slit, it, it doesn't make any sense. So here's how you practice. You get something, well, this is an old peanut case. I spray painted it yellow, what's well, true? I sit it there. Now I don't care if I'm two foot away or I'm 20 foot away, it makes it very easy for me to visualize that hole and put to it. By the same token, if I go out to the golf course and I'm on their putting range, I will do the same thing. I'll sit it out there. I don't need to have a hole. I'll sit it out there and practice. And then when I go to the course, mentally, I imagine that thing sitting there, sticking up in the air. It makes it very easy to make my putts. And there's another thing too. When I'm looking at this slit that's over there, or if I'm up close and I'm putting to that little slip, what's true? I'm up here. I'm looking down at the hole, okay? So what's the tendency? To hit down on the ball. Hit down on the ball, it's gonna jump, but it's gonna skid all over the place. Here's the ticket. You envision this. You envision this coming all the way up, a pole. And then when you putt, you putt at the pole. You don't even, you don't look down at the bottom of the hole. You envision that pole, putt to the pole, and that way you'll make a nice, smooth, level putt every time. Same thing happens when you're on a par three, the tee box is elevated. What's true, you're looking down at the green, you're up here hitting the ball, <laughs> you're gonna miss hit it every time. Cause you're going to be looking down here, hitting the ball with your swing directed at a downward angle. Doesn't work. You look above the green. You look about eye level and then make your swing. So it happens both places. Okay, that's number one, uh, very simple. Number two, keeping your arms and hands completely out of your putting stick. I mean, just completely. Uh, you've heard of the yips. Everybody has the yips to a certain degree. Uh, you'll be up there, have a five foot putt, four foot putt, three foot. Oh, I've got to make this. I've got to make this. What's true? You're going to miss it. Why? Because you get a little twitch in your hand, in your arm. These small muscles, you get a little twitch and it will throw that club head off. They'll make the club head go like this. Very easy way to take care of that. If you're a right-handed golfer, you're going to have the hips in your right hand. That's when your twitching is going to be because it's your dominant hand. Left-hand golfer, just the opposite. Bear this in mind. So, take our grip on a club. Obviously, this is your regular grip on a club, but on the putter, it's just the opposite. You're taking this finger, laying it over here on top of this. Okay? Boom. That's a typical grip on a putter. If you want to stop the yips, what you do is this. You move up one more. Now you've got two fingers on top of your right hand. What's true? You go to putt and you'll feel it as soon as you do it. It basically takes your right hand out of that putt. It makes the right hand very stable so when you come back and through, everything stays very, very stable. And by the way, there again, you don't take it back with your arms. Your arms have nothing to do with it. You basically sit here and just start rocking back and forth like this. Let your arms just hang down naturally like a pendulum. And with little practice, you can get very good at this. You'll know how far to rock that pendulum back, but the point is you will have no riskiness in that stroke whatsoever and the putt will go true every time. Okay, those are the simple things. <laughs> What's the third thing? That's this putter. This is our big O putter, which I, well, it took me probably five or six years to design. 
Uh, I've had requests for the past 15, 20 years for a putter. I had to decide exactly what I wanted in a putter. It had to be better than any other putter out there or else I wouldn't come out with it. Uh, basically what I did was this. I took the head. First of all, a mallet style head is very good. Keeps it very stable. You've got a lot of uh, lines here so you can line up the ball and so on and so forth. Very good. But the main thing I did, I made the club head much, much heavier than a standard putter club head. Reason for that, the heavier it is, the more stable it's going to be. It's not going to be moving around like this all the time. Uh, if you take a club that doesn't have a head on it or just get a stick and just go like this, what's going to happen? You'll see the end of that stick going all over the place. Something heavy on the end, nah, that doesn't happen anymore. It just kind of remains solid through impact. Very, very stable. It keeps the club bed from going like this when you're making your stroke. Very important. Now you're going to say, but wait a second. The club bed's very heavy. I don't want a heavy putter. Well, I did this, if you notice. I'm gripping, this is my normal grip for a putter. I'm not asking you to change the way you putt or your style or anything. There's a hundred styles of putting. They all work. It'll work here too. What you do? You take your current putter, go ahead and grip it just like you normally would, and you measure it up to the butt of your hand. That's the length of your current putter, and you're used to that. What you want to do is take that length, add at least one inch to it. Boom, when you order our putter. Why is that? See this up here? This is extremely heavy putter grip. It's probably the heaviest putter grip on the market. And by having the butt end stick out like this, it counterbalances the extra club head weight in the putter. Right off the bat, your putter does not feel heavy, but at the same time, the stability, when it comes through your stroke, it's absolutely unbelievable. Well, let's save a lot more putts. I want to thank you for watching. If you did like the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.